hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, check this out. We did this video just recently, a couple days ago, and it was really, really cool. It's our 1.14 official fortified starter house and it's really really cool it's fortified protected from all the pillager raids and everything is really cool we got walls and all of our villagers are safe in there but i did ask you guys if you want to see a level two version of this something a little bigger that we can let's say like level up with this version so we're gonna go ahead and do that today but as always check the links in the description not only for this build but also for the texture pack we're using our boy jersey boys pack and it's amazing 114 ready so let's get this started let's go to our little spot around the Corner. All right, let's get this started. We got this cool little clean right here. We got space to move and add more builds. If you want to see a level three version of this, let me know in the comment section. We can totally have a space for that over here in this corner, but that's level one right there. Let's do level two right now. Boom. So it's going to be a little bigger than that. We're going to be a little more fortified, a little more wall area, and the cows are just hanging out right here. So we're going to be using these materials. We got a bunch of stones, regular smooth stone, stone bricks, cobble. I'm going to bring a little bit of oak log and some spruce, but for now, let's just start Start this up with regular old stone and we'll texture after so get out of here cow so let's start right here so i'm gonna go down right from this corner this is gonna be let's see right about here so we're gonna start in the corner with our house foundation we're gonna have some walls connected to it and it's really really cool so right here let's start so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's go eleven then i'm gonna go from here one two three four five Let's go six and seven. We're gonna turn this way and connect seven and 11 right here. Great store, great store right there, boom. So that is our beginning of our house. Now, this is gonna be awesome. This is where our house is gonna be now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a little spot for a little bit of a, a tower bit. And the tower is gonna go right here. So we're gonna bring this in. Let's take this in by one, two, three, four, five. So five, we're gonna turn it, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be a five by five tower bit. It's gonna go right about, let's take it in one more, right about here. So a little tower extension that comes out and that's your little center point. You can see the center point right there, perfect. So that's it for right there. Then we're gonna do a little wall. We're just gonna go straight down from here. This is a one. So we're gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right here, okay? Then we're gonna do another little tower bit right here. We're gonna do a small version, simple to that, exactly the same. We're gonna go one, two, get out of here, cow, through, get cow, five by five by five. Let's do a little center point so you can guide yourself and do another little five by five box. So that's another little guideline to get to this little tower bit. And then from here, this is gonna go from here in the center. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna go on nine, okay? And then we're just gonna turn this right here to go straight down this way. And we're gonna connect it to that point right there, which is a third block from the corner right there and go all the way down like this, connecting that spot. So that is our little fortified foundation. I love it, that looks really, really cool. Now, we're gonna start building up from here. But you know what, let's start from the house right here at this end. And we're just gonna go knocking down the corners and putting a stone brick. So every corner is gonna be a stone brick corner like this, every corner. Just so you can know how to do that foundation starting out like that. So let's slip these up. So from here, this is a technically the one, two, three, four. Let's go up by four on all of these right here. Let's connect everything, make sure everything is lined up. Now, once we got that, we're gonna lift this all the way up, lift all this uh, smooth stone and connect to the top four right there. Just connect to that and we're gonna do this real fast. All right, so we have this lifted up by four. It's looking pretty good, I like this. Now, let's continue to do some more details. Now, over here in this corner, also gonna use the brick and we're gonna take this one up by five. If you wanna really connect it from down here to top there, connect it to the same level that this house is at. Actually. Let's take it down by one. Let's do a let's do a four. So one, two, three, and four from here. Uh, just one lower from that point right there. And it's all going to depend where you're at too, because this is not an even ground. Uh, so let's take also this piece off here. Put a stone brick. Take it up, matching to that. Just make it one less than that right there. That's perfect. Then let's connect all this together right from this end to this end. And we're going to also make this one into stone brick, and that goes to there. 
perfect. So let's also do this tower. Let's do the corner bits as well with, with stone. This one, I'm just going to take it up to the same level as that house for now. We're going to make it taller, of course, but for now, just to leave it at a nice little sight line. And we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to change it up in a sec, but take it up right to there. So let's go down. Let's go down here and match this up. Also make this out of stone. Leave it to there for now. We're going to totally make that bigger. Also in this corner, one, two, three, take it to the same line as this wall right here so right there and let's take it all the way down like so this corner bit is also going to be that and we're going to leave it just there for now okay now let's do also these corner bits it's going to take it let's take it one higher to that for now it's definitely going to go higher but just for now let's just take it one higher from that main structure all right perfect so we have the foundation lifted up a little bit looking very good but you know what i want to start working first on the main house so for the main house this is what i want to start doing i'm going to pop out a little bit of a uh a wood outline going all the way from here to there perfect now i'm going to put one going out right there connecting that to that I'm also going to do another bit right here placeholder block and take this down all the way to the end overhang it by one cross beam right here and we have this little overhanged bit right there. I love that. That is really, really cool. Then, you know what? I'm going to lift this up. We're going to go up right here by one, two, three, and four again. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to go over here. One, two, three, and four. Let's go also over here. One, two, three, and four. And then from this, I'm just going to do a Tudor style by just going every other one. We're going to have just a, uh, a row of uh, logs just going straight up like this also going to do it right here let's do it here even though you're really not actually you're not going to really see any of this um so let's just leave this let's match this tower just up to here for now so we can have a nice um a nice pattern going just so you can see what's going to go in between this house so let's just do this raise this up just to match that wood that we just placed in all right there we go so let's keep going with this little tutor block and we're going to pop out windows in certain spots. We're going to make this look very unique and very nice. But for now, let's just put this to the lining all the way around like this. Perfect. Now, in the middle, you can use any block you want. You can use sandstone. You can use wool. You can use bone block. You can use concrete. I'm going to use white concrete for this one. So we're going to get rid of that. Let's do white, con white concrete for now. You can use any white material or any block, really. Sandstone also looks very good uh, with these um, log combos. But for now, I'm just going to do it like this with the white concrete. All right. So the white concrete is laid out looking very, very cool. Very nice. Now let's give some uh, more details to this top part. So now what I'm going to do is this is this is cool. I'm going to grab uh, this log. I'm going to go up again in the corners like this up again in the corners like this we're going to cross beam this whole way we're going to cross beam this whole way here and we're going to cross beam this whole way over here like so and we're also going to cross just these two and then again let's take this up again just so we can just match up with where the house is at right there so leave that right there for now then i'm going to work on a roof uh, right here so for this roof super simple let's just go with the oh uh, well sorry the spruce and we're just gonna go down just like this all the way down like so till we get to there let's do it also on this side like so take it all the way down and then we're gonna work on a little roof now this is gonna be a simple roof we're just gonna go straight up and down just like this we're not gonna do two blocks or three blocks we're not gonna make a exaggerated roof we're just gonna go straight up very simple just like this from one side to the other simple stair pattern for this roof going like that and down the middle we're gonna put a slab simple i'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side and cover the whole thing in spruce all right there you go we matched it everything went from one end to the other perfectly and then also i lifted up this tower a little bit more so if you look at it right from the slab it's just one extra after that slab just like that really really cool now Let's detail uh, this thing. Let's make this tower look really, really cool. Now, for this detail, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put upside down stairs on every other block, just like this, right at this level. Every other block gets an upside down stair, just like that. Also, in between, I'm going to put slabs, just like this, all the way around, just like that. Okay? Now, watch this. I'm going to go up with this one. We're going to make it look really, really cool. What I'm going to do first, though, I'm going to grab our, our oak log. I'm going to go right here at this edge. We're going to go up one, two, three, and four. We're going to go up one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do this tutor blockage also on this part. We're going to go up by four every other one, just like this, just to make it look really, really cool. 
Then on the inside part, we're gonna grab this lovely white again, and we're gonna go ahead and cover this up. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. All of these are gonna go up, except for whatever I just did, I have no idea. And then we're just gonna go up just like that. That's looking very, very cool. Then, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop out windows on all of these. Let's take these windows out for now, just so we can have that looking cool. Just like that, so windows all the way around like this. Then on the tippy top, I'm gonna go up one more on every corner, just like that. We're gonna cross beam, cross beam, cross beam, cross beam. Then, I'm gonna work on a really, really cool roof. We're gonna pretty much repeat this pattern that we see down here, but we're gonna do it up here. Every other one gets an upside down stair, just like this. Then after we do an upside down stair on every other one, we're gonna go again and come back with the slabs in the spaces we missed, just like that. All right, let's do this top part. Now that we have this all set up, let's do this. Let's go with, I'm gonna go with a full block going all the way around, full block of, uh, all the way around like so. Just follow the pattern where the logs place, just like that, perfect. Uh, over here, I'm gonna put a full block. I'm gonna put a stair facing this way, stair facing this way, and a slab in the middle, just like that. So we're gonna go full block in the middle, stair here, stair here, slab in the center. We're gonna go again, full block, stair, stair, slab. We're gonna go with a full block, stair, stair, and a slab. All right, cool. Then we're gonna go up right here in this part. Let's go up one, two, three, right here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right there. Let's go with a stair uh, right at this edge, stair here, stair here, and stair here. I'm gonna go with a full block on these middle pieces. I'm gonna go with a stair here, here, all the way around, stairs like so, stairs like so. Here I'm gonna go with a stair facing inwards, like that in the center. We're gonna go with full blocks on every corner, then full blocks on top of these against the corner of these stairs. Uh, we're gonna do, actually, let's go with um, all the way around with the full block. Then I'm gonna go with full block here, 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 here. I'm gonna go with stair on this side, this side, one here, one here. Full blocks on all of these times, well, just times one, and then stairs on top of all of these full blocks, like that. Full block on top, another full block. We're gonna go with a wall of stone brick. We're gonna go one and two. We're gonna grab a fence of our spruce, and we're gonna go up one, two, three. Let's take a step back and look at what we got. That is really cool. All right, there we go. That is a nice little tower tip. Look at that thing, it's so awesome. All right, now that we have that in place, uh, let's work on a additional detail. So let's grab some trap doors. I'm gonna put some traps right here on the bottom end of these stairs just to add a little bit more detail to the surrounding area right here. Also, I'm gonna go underneath these guys and we're gonna put also trap doors <laughs> underneath all these right here, except for this middle one. I'm gonna leave that open. We're gonna go all the way down and around like so. Look in. Very, very cool. Uh, also, another thing we want to do is uh, take a step back because that looks really, really cool. No, we're going to go ahead and come back over here. I want to add a little bit more detail. We're going to add some uh, slabs uh, actually on the white pieces right in front of the white, right there, right there, and then trap doors on the spaces that we missed, just like that. Perfect. So that additional detail added all the way around. That is awesome. So we have that going. Now, next up, let's add some windows. Uh, right around here, I'm gonna add a window. Let's add a window here. Let's uh, leave those for now. We're gonna add a window here, here. We're gonna add a window here. And we're gonna add a window here, leave the rest. Uh, we're also gonna be adding some windows on the side there, but give me one sec, we're gonna do one quick thing. Right in here, I'm gonna put a spruce right there in that little spot. Also, on this part, if you notice, we have this big old gap right here. So, let's add spruce on every other one, just like so, even on that little space right there. Spruce right here and a spruce right there. I'm gonna come on the inside, we're gonna grab our trap door and I'm gonna put it right against the wall like this. So it's gonna look really, really cool. I'm not gonna put any windows on this top part, but it's gonna give it a cool little look if we do it just like that. Let's go outside so you can take a look from here. That look right there, isn't that cool? That looks amazing. Then, another little bit of detail. I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna put upside down stairs on every other one 
and we're gonna put slabs on the ones we missed, just like that on that part. Now, underneath here, we're gonna do some similar styles, upside down stairs on every other one like that, and we're gonna put trap doors on the ones you missed, just like this. Repeat that same pattern all the way around like that. We're gonna go on every other one till we get to the end and put another one there. Trap doors on the ones we missed, just like that. That is awesome, I love that look. Now, we're gonna keep going, keep doing it over here, so right there. Gonna go all the way around like so. Ooh, hold on. Every other one, uh, like this. We're gonna have to do something different for this one. So get rid of that one, but we're still gonna do the trap doors on every other one, like that. Also, upside down right here, trap door on the one we missed. Perfect. Just like that, all the way around. Now, Let's do some more details on this area for now. Let's skip this walls. I'm gonna skip the details also on this tower for now. Let's just do this other tower right here. So this one, we're gonna go up a little bit more. Definitely not gonna be as big as that, but we're also not gonna do a tip like that. We're gonna make it different. So we're already up now. One, two, three, four. Let's go five, six, seven. Let's go seven, seven. We're gonna go up by seven right here, up by seven right here, up by seven right here. Cover up this little area. Let's cover up this little area. And let's cover up this little area. One more cover up job and we're good for now. Then we're gonna do a similar trick that we did there, but with stone. So let's grab stone brick stairs right here. Let's put them upside down on every other one just like we did before, we're doing it now with stone. So every other one gets it. Then we're gonna go with some slabs also. Same style we did before, but now with stone slabs instead of the spruce slab. So this goes all the way around like that. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. We're gonna take it up on every one like this, every other one like that. We're gonna go with upside down stairs right here on these corner bits, just like that, just like that, and just like that. On top of these, we're gonna put stairs and we're gonna face them out like this on every other one, like that. So we have that cool little look. Look how nice that is, that is so awesome. Uh, on the top here, we're just gonna leave this open for now. I'm gonna show you how we could detail this, but for now, leave that just like this. Now, let's work on these little corner bits and how we're gonna get in. We need, to, we need a way in, right? And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. So, I'm gonna put a way in right on this end and this is how we're gonna do it. Go right to the center. Uh, we're gonna do this first off. Let's go. Let's start counting. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen So let's go right in the center, which is right around there. Let's take away three Just like this right in the middle So technically right now you have one two three four five here and a one two three four five there Then we're gonna make a little way in so let's go down right here get rid of that Take this up right here. Take this up right here then we're gonna do a nice small little archway right there. We're gonna put an upside down stair here, upside down stair right there. Looking so cool. Then watch this. We're gonna give it a lining all the way up here with our regular brick that goes from one side to the other. We're gonna repeat that also on this one. It'll give you a little bit more structure right there. Then watch this. We're gonna come in here and I'm gonna go up from this end. We're gonna go up one and two. We're gonna go up one and two. On every corner, we're gonna go up one and two right here. We're also gonna go up one and two right there on this corner. Then let's just put some stairs on those right here like that, stairs on those. We're also gonna come on this side and go up one and two and also do the same thing, actually just one so you can match that. Uh, don't worry about the tower a bit. We're also gonna do it on this side. So come in here, we're gonna go up one and one on this corner. We're gonna put stair and stair like that and leave those there for now. We're gonna add a bunch of detail in between, but for now, just to give it like a base structure, we got that going. All right, cool. Then let's grab some full blocks and we're gonna go full block every other one like this till we get to there. Let's do it also on this one, every other one from there. And we're also gonna do it right here, every other one till we get to the end. Boom, perfect. Then we're gonna grab some fence. We're gonna use some oak fence on this one just to give it a little bit of a different look. And we're gonna put on top of these, we're gonna put a slab, but we're gonna use a regular stone slab on the tippy top, just like that. And we're gonna do it again on here. So fence all the way around. And then we're gonna put a stone slab on top. This is awesome. There we go. So once we have that set up, it's looking very, very fortified. 
All right, so on this side, I'm just gonna take this up by two as well, two as well here, just like we did on the outside, put some stairs. Let's grab some, uh, let's do this. This is gonna be pretty cool. Let's grab some spruce door, just one spruce door. <laughs> let's grab one spruce door. We're gonna put this right here, but first, let's go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, no, three, all three. Go like this, take this out. Let's get rid of this little bit. Let's make this into cobble for right now. Let's put our door right, oh, let's put it on this side. So that'll be our way in right there, looking very, very cool. And on this side, we're gonna put some of the trap door like this, trap door like that. So that is our way in to this awesome fort right here. This side looks a little plain, but it's fine. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put upside down stairs right on top of that and run a little line like that. And that is looking very cool. Also gonna grab the slabs that we had here and we're gonna go one, two, and three, just like that to give it that cool little feel. Uh, on this side, we can actually repeat that, put an upside down stair, run that line, and then we can go ahead and put sl the little slabs on top. And that gives you our way in right there to that fort, in and out, matching beautifully that is cool then right here we're gonna put uh some some more details to this so what if right here we do a little bit of a balcony bit so i could this part could stand out let's go right here on this edge one and two one and two let's go all the way down and actually pop it up right here let's do the same thing right on this side so take it all the way down pop it up right here by one cross beam right there put a little bit of a spruce slab, which is right up here, let's grab it. Put a little spruce slab right there, put a little fencing here, here, and there. Make a little way in by taking those three out, put a little upside down stair of spruce right there, and that is our door. Let's pop these walls here, so we're gonna go up by one, let's go up with one fence on top of that, and then let's do this. What if we put a stair right here? and take this all the way down that kind of connects to that looking very very cool and then we could put a little upside down stair one right there and we could put another little upside down stair right in here right here in the center i want to do a little bit of a chimney fireplace so let's get rid of this little bit right here let's actually knock this whole thing out even that part let's grab some of the brick and let's go in right now with this brick i'm gonna go right from this let's go up one two three four five six seven eight nine let's go up nine right there and let's go in one here let's take this one right all the way down watch this we're going to take this all the way up right on the inside and we're going to take it all the way up so let's take it up by right up to there at the same level as that slab is a little taller. Then I'm gonna grab our campfire. I'm gonna put the campfire in here. I'm gonna do the same thing we did on our other starter version. I'm gonna go something like that. We're gonna grab some trap doors of our dark oak. And I'm gonna do this, watch this. We're gonna go right around like this. Double tap it. One of them is just a placeholder, the other one we're keeping. So all the way around like this. And we're gonna get rid of the ones we have underneath just like that and that goes all the way down look how cool now to give it a little bit more detail get rid of these two let's take this down by uh, all the way down <laughs> like that just to give it a little bit of a, that extra look and then right at the bottom uh we can actually play around with this by putting uh let's see one here here and here let's take this actually up right here one more put a stair of our brick put one right in here let's put one there put one in here and that just gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit more bulk. Actually, I think it looks better like that. Actually, get rid of this part, get rid of this part, and then now that looks awesome. Uh, we can add some windows. Let's add one down here. Let's add one, another one right here, but these, we're gonna do arrow slit windows, one like that, one like so. Now, that looks great. On this one, I'm gonna put two arrow slits, one here, one here facing them inwards like so perfect now in here also going to add a little arrow slit going one right here and we're going to do another one facing this direction right about there perfect we got that going now let's do more details uh leave this one there for now don't worry about that let's do a little bit on this one let's go up right here one and two put one on top one and two put one up top here facing that way looking great this one, leave it clean. Don't worry about that for now. Now in here, let's put one right here. Let's put one and two. Little two gapper from there. Put another one here facing this way, one and two. I'm gonna go up again. Let's go up one, two, three. Take two up right there. Take two up right there, facing inwards. 
facing inwards like that. And we're just gonna pepper in a little bit down below like so, like this. And just on the lower bits, okay? Just a little bit on the bottom. Actually, I'm not gonna put the end aside, just cobble. Let's just make it very, very basic. Just cobble, a little bit going up like so, a little bit right here like so not too much so let me do a little bit of texturing and let's see what it comes out to all right the texturing is looking really really good I added a little bit of mossy in there as along with the cobblestone so everything is looking so so cool we're still gonna do a lot of details on the outside as far as like little rock formations little boulder stuff pushed up against there to give you a little more defense but let's go on the inside real fast i did lay, lay out just a little bit of detail over here uh so i put a little bit of path block right here put a little bit of gravel a little bit of coarse dirt also these are the petrified oak slabs but here in the pack is coarse dirt uh i'm not going to use that though even though it's really really cool let's just use for now let's just use cobble uh to make it look like well like anybody can use it so let's put two right there um so what i'm going to do here I put this little lining here but i'm going to keep going let's lift that up again right about there i'm gonna do almost like a little wall right here let's just do it out of regular uh smooth stone for now i'm gonna go around like so and we're gonna take this back and around like this uh let's go around like that so we can separate this into different uh, sections so we're gonna have this section here i'm gonna put a little bit of crop here actually so let's get rid of this little section put some farmland right here we're gonna put a little bit of a crop section uh, we can even hide water somewhere here. Let's do, uh, I don't know. We can hide water really anywhere. Let's just go underneath right there. Put some water right there and that should hydrate everything, right? I think maybe. Yeah. Okay. And then let's get some seeds and I'm going to drop these seeds right in here and let this just grow right now. We're going to put some gates right here. I think I have some on me and just in case so nothing can really trample it. We have that spot ready to go. Uh, we can also do a little bit of texturing on these guys here. Maybe do a little bit of moss on the bottom. Maybe change some of these to stone. That looks pretty good right there. Perfect. So we have this little area. Now for this one, I'm also going to grab these uh, gates. I'm going to put them here. This is going to be a spot for animals. Now you can put anything, chickens, uh, sheep, cows, whatever. For now, let's just, let's just throw some cows in there. But you can make this into whatever kind of pen. You can even make this into a little horse stable. For now, let's just throw about three cows in there. No big deal. Uh, and then we can add a little bit of hay here in the corner. Uh, and just make it look um, lived in. So let's put a little spot for cows right here. Uh, something like that. Pretty cool. Just that and maybe another... Uh, I'm not going to put any more here because then they can probably climb that. Uh, and then to add a little bit more detail, we can grab this and maybe put a couple little bits going up like so. Just to add that detail. Uh, even, you know what looks good too? If you add a little bit of pressure plate. Uh, even though you might not really see it too much, but it looks pretty cool. You can see a little bit of an indent on that right there. That's really cool. So we have this little area. Maybe even, let's get some, I don't know, let's grab some stairs of, uh, let's, say, let's say dark oak this time. Uh, and let's make like a little water trough kind of thing. And this is just gonna go like this. And then we can just waterlog those. We got a little water trough right there. And then we can just detail the floor uh, like that. No biggie, just a little bit right here. If it's for sheep, I wouldn't put any like that. I would just leave it all grass. But this is cows, we can mess with it. Something like that. Perfect, so that's for the cows. Uh, we also need a little bit of lighting here. So let's grab some lanterns. Let's do a little bit of a uh, a little lantern holder here somewhere uh what if we go i think right here will look fine let's grab a fence boom put a little lantern right there uh and we can even put some hanging i wish you could just put them up against the wall but you can you have to have something placed in there so what if we grab a wall and maybe like a stone brick wall maybe put one on this corner one on that corner and maybe we can have some hanging lanterns also uh like that maybe just one on that side since we do have that there that's perfect cool and we could do a little cover over and we could do anything really to that but i'm just gonna leave that open this looks perfect right there as is uh on this side i have a little way in and we can go up to this section uh for this one i'm just gonna go with a ladder make it very simple and we're gonna put a ladder on the side take it all the way up to about this point then let's grab some slabs of spruce a little bit of the trap door as well and we can have like little layers let's see maybe one layer would be like right at this end right about here have a little layer right there boom then we can have another little section that goes all the way around 
like so and we can have like multiple ways up and put a little trap door right here perfect so we have this little sectioned off and if anything to make it look even cooler we could put these corners with slabs and then we could put trap doors here just to add a little bit more to it that looks awesome there we go and you can even take some stuff away maybe take one here maybe put a barrel on one side uh maybe something like this Ooh, look at that we got some apples on the top maybe a little a little corner right here of apples or something uh and then maybe cover some up with trapdoor uh maybe even a chest on some of these and just give give it a little bit of detail uh up here just by adding stuff like that it just adds so much just a little bit just like that we come in here let's put a little blast furnace as well and we can put this right here. Let's make that the centerpiece right there. Blast Furnace was technically from a, this was one, two, three, four on the fifth. Let's go in here with some of those. Put a little upside down stair. Let's take those up. Let's put maybe a stair here, stair here, and then bring this up like so. That looks awesome. Then we can maybe do a little bit of an upside down stair here and here. Let's do some walls of brick as well. Do one maybe here and there, and then maybe grab some slabs, and we can put these slabs right here on the top, and that's a little blacksmith area. And then wait, hold on, let's do right there, something like that. It'll make it look really, really cool. Uh, let's also grab our campfire again, uh, and do the same trick we did last time. We're gonna put a little campfire right here. We're gonna do the trap doors with the dark oak, and we're gonna go bum, bum, bum. Wow, perfect there you go and seal that up and we have the little matching area and yeah you know what i'm not gonna put it on this side because i'm gonna mess with that at least we have it just like that a little blacksmithy area all right one thing that i really want to add to this before we close it out is i want to make it a little bit more unique on the outside make it look a little more fortified a little bit more broken into uh, uh, something that they, they you patched work did a little bit so this is what i got in mind so i got a lot of different stone variants so i want to come on here to where the walls are and come in and give it a little bit of detail come in here maybe with some of the mossy some of this and just just detail it just a little more just like that come in here with maybe a little bit of bush as well and um just mossy it up maybe make it look a little more overgrown um other things like this you come and come around like so and just let's just break this up a little bit just like this maybe add a little bit more moss something like that and then maybe bring in a little bit more of the bush uh coming around right here adding uh these things just gives it so much more life uh makes it look like it's more unique and you can do it exactly how i'm doing it or you can do it on your own little uh, on your own style uh just just scatter it around don't put too much but just put i don't know it's, it's a good balance like a mix of not putting too much but putting just enough <laughs> just eyeball it uh in other words just something like this looks really really good also maybe let's add a little more moss to this side uh, maybe something like this a little bit more uh, maybe a wall here something like that looks very very good uh, maybe a little bit of a stone right here like that add a little bit more bush a little more overgrown maybe even some vines here might even do the trick uh, to add even more detail to us or something like this all right there we go all the details were added let's take a quick little spin and i'm going to take you a little closer down below to show you all the little tiny details that we added to this fort just to make it look even cooler uh, but i'm in love i really like it let me know what you think down below what you think of this beautiful 114 uh, fort it's very awesome let's get down here let me get a little closer so we added all the little bits of details on the bottom like we said we would uh as far as these little rock formations we added some of those berry bushes that could definitely hurt the bad guys as they walk around in here uh we added some overgrown with more bushes uh, some tall grass some ferns a little bit of flower action but it looks so cool also uh i went ahead and i added these awesome trap doors here they're shutters for all those arrow slits in case you need some more defense uh we made it even a little more lived in a little more ruin like like let's uh this fort's been around for a very long time by adding some stairs of cobble stairs of stone brick inside the walls so it looks very very cool we twisted some of the corners over there some of the foundation is twisted also added some flower 
power boxes on the windowsills, so it looks very, very cool. Also more trapdoors for shutters on every window here. Uh, it looks so awesome, so trapdoors on all the arrow slits as well. Uh, when you come inside, let me go in here, we also have some interior work and some path work on the outside to give it a cool little path in here, but let's go inside. As far as interior, we have everything you need in here. We have all of our cows uh, with all the, all, everything you need for them to survive. I guess some wheat, some water, uh, the food is in there. We have, you know what, in here, this is super awesome. It's super sustainable, so you never leave to leave, you never, need to leave this fort because you have animals to breed you have wheat to to breed them you have wheat to eat so you never have to get out of here if you want to be a hermit and just stay inside here and never leave the house you're fine stay in here uh so the blacksmith is looking very very cool we have a little overhang over that blacksmith with everything you need as far as a blast furnace we have the grindstone the stone cutter everything you need over here is your nice little workstation as well uh as far as interior on this side just a little bit of storage right here extra storage here and ending the top with this cool little area right here just with some random junk in here, just to hang out uh, you can really put anything you want on the top here but I like it, it gives a little bit of atmosphere uh, when you come in on inside here we have a nice little belt in case we need to warn anybody of any incoming intruders uh, when you come inside, we got a nice little kitchen area right here with a smoker down there. We got a campfire underneath. There's always smoking right there. Looking really, really cool. A little seat over here. So you can sit down, have some uh, dinner, breakfast, whatever. Uh, on this side, we have uh, some books, lectern with also a cartography table on the bottom. Looking very, very nice. I love that ceiling. Look at that. Uh, coming upstairs, we have a nice little area here where just for books. We have a writing desk over here. I love that writing desk. Look at that. It looks very a little arch extra lectern right here separated the wall right here in the center here uh, with um, this nice little pattern I love that we kept the Tudor block even going on the inside with some potted plants on this side uh, we have some railings nice little carpet action right here uh, we have a wall up there of storage it's all you need really uh, and then on this side we have our tower we have some a loom right here uh, you can have extra storage the tower leading up to a little writing reading room right here more storage and a little bedroom on the top with a hanging light looking so good with a hat rack right there and then also uh, what uh, place wouldn't be uh, a complete fort to live without a nice little bedroom and their master bedroom is up here in this little lofty area with a big old bed a king size bed right here looking very very cool but that's it we're done with it it's looking so good i'm so happy with this fort what do you guys think let me know down below and you know what this is technically level two we had a level one starter house fortified starter house over here level two is a big old fort i don't know what do you think level three castle <laughs> we have a we have so much space over here we could definitely add some more let me know if you want to see any more of these 114 4 to 5 bills i would be so so down to make some more but let me know down below what do you think of this and if you want to see a bunch more coming down the line but i'm out of here for now <laughs> thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy i can't wait for 114 it should be out any second now and hopefully you're having a lot of fun playing Minecraft. See you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.